Hello friends and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name is Adeline. I am very excited about this video because we are talking about one of my favourite topics, a capsule wardrobe. My style and what I've really tried to kind of incorporate into my YouTube channel is how you can style pieces again and again and find versatile clothes that you will keep coming back to season after season. The beauty of a capsule wardrobe is that it forces you to be mindful of what you're consuming. It makes you consider your lifestyle, your body type, your colouring and what makes you feel like you. And what you end up with is a wardrobe curated of items that work for you and with you. In this video, I really want to narrow down some items that I think will be key additions into your wardrobes this season. Of course, the point isn't to go out and purchase them all, but maybe take note of certain shapes or materials or colors that you can add to your wardrobe. The first category that I want to talk about is jewelry. And jewelry is a really personal and kind of sentimental item, at least for me, because I tend to not have that many pieces of jewellery in my collection, but they're pieces that I wear all the time, every day. With this YouTube channel, I've been really blessed to be introduced to some incredible brands and be able to share them with you. And the brand that I'm working with today are Ideal. We have collaborated together in the past, so you may have seen them on my Instagram or in a past video on my YouTube channel, but I just think they work perfectly with a capsule wardrobe. And that is because of their unique modular concept. So how ideal work is you choose a base diamond stud that come in three different sizes, and then you choose add-ons to go with them. One of their concept quotes is the joy of owning less while combining more. And I think that is basically what a capsule wardrobe is all about. All of their diamonds are lab grown, which means they have a much smaller impact on our earth as they aren't mined. And all of their gold is made of 14 karat traceable gold from conflict-free regions. So I'll show you what I've got on now. So here I have on the petite studs, which are the smaller studs. Firstly, I've got on this dangly one, which is the Eden. This middle one is called the Romy. I just love the way the diamonds kind of curve around your earlobe. And then the last one I have is called Lucia. And what is amazing about the Eden, so that's the dangly one, is that you can also wear it as a necklace. So I also have a 14 karat solid gold chain from Ideal. And what you can do is take off this Eden, which I will show you, and you can thread it onto the necklace. You can fasten the necklace on three different lengths. This is the middle length that I've got it on so that the diamonds on the Eden kind of fall just under the neckline on the top that I'm wearing and I think it sits really, really nicely. So now I have a bit of a mismatched look with one dangly earring here and I've got the other one on the necklace, which I kind of love. I think that's such a fun look and that is what's great about Ideal is that you can really kind of mix and match and create so many different looks, which you'll see throughout this video. If you are looking to add some special pieces to your jewelry collection and you love this kind of modular concept as much as I do, then check out Ideal. Everything will be linked down in the description box. With any good capsule wardrobe, it is all about getting your bases right. And for autumn, that is all about the humble turtleneck. But more specifically, I would go for one that is in a slightly thinner knit in 100% wool, like the one that I have here. Having one in a thinner knit means that you can layer it under practically anything. And because of the wool, it's still really warm, yet breathable for your skin. There are so many on the market at the moment, tis the season. I have tried a couple from Arquette and Cos, but they were a little bit sheer. I think that is one thing you need to kind of be a bit wary about um, when you are shopping for this sort of thinner knit. But this one I have here from And Other Stories isn't sheer at all, and that's why I would recommend this one. This is my Audrey Hepburn funny face homage. It is such a classic all black look when you don't know what to wear and one that I return to again and again. Like I said, this is a great layering piece and so I put on my trusty trench coat that I would wear every day if I could. The look is simple yet intentional. For a more casual look, here I've paired it with blue jeans and converses, but I've still kept an element of tailoring with the oversized blazer. 
So I am definitely more of a trousers person, but for this autumn winter, I really wanted to add in a wool A-line skirt into my wardrobe. I just really feel that by adding in this one piece, I would be able to change up so many of my outfits. So this one is from Arquette and it is a very, very dark navy in this really nice kind of thick wool material. And really specifically, I wanted that kind of A-line cut as I really like the kind of silhouette that it creates. I can definitely imagine lots of different ways this autumn winter that I will be styling the skirt and I'll obviously be adding in tights when it gets a little bit colder but for right now I haven't broken out my tights just yet. <laughs> I'm also looking for a pair of knee-high boots which I think would look amazing when paired with that kind of A-line skirt shape. This is what I mean when I talk about that A-line silhouette. I love that pronounced flare that this skirt gives as the wool is quite thick, so it has that structure. Wearing it with pointed black ankle boots stops the skirt from feeling like a school uniform. One of my favorite color combinations is blue and brown. And so here I've paired the navy skirt with a blue cardigan and brown boots. And can we talk about how perfect the Eden sits above the neckline of this cardigan? I love short jackets for this time of year. I think that they are a great layering piece where you can kind of just put them over a t-shirt and they can instantly change your look. Plus they are that really great transition piece when you're not quite ready for big heavy coats yet, which I'm not. So I have two here, one from Lisa Yang and another one from The Curated and you definitely would have seen me wear both of these. But what I realized what I was drawn to about these jackets is that kind of double faced material. So let me show you what I mean. So instead of having a lining, this jacket is made of two pieces of material sewn together so that the material is the same on the inside and also the outside. And what's great about that is that it means that it's really light and it's also very warm, which is just perfect for this time of year. This one I have is 90% wool and 10% cashmere. So it's really soft and just so warm to wear. Unfortunately, it's not available anymore, but I did try this one on from Arquette, which is 100% wool. And it also has that kind of double faced fabric. I really liked it and was debating, should I add a gray one to my wardrobe? Um, but I didn't buy it because it was slightly too big for me. So the one I have on in this photo is a 36, um, but because it's quite oversized, I probably would have needed to go down one size, which they didn't have in the store. I love a minimal aesthetic and this outfit is just that. A cropped jacket with high-waisted jeans elongates a petite frame. This outfit might be one of my favorites. I have also swapped the earrings here to wear two Romies on one side, and I love how they look together. For me, this is the perfect autumn outfit to wear on days when the air is starting to get crisp. This jacket keeps me so warm, especially when I tie it up at the waist. I also love to pair my longer length jeans with penny loafers. It reminds me of that 90s style, which I take a lot of inspiration from. So much like how blazers are my favorite kind of wardrobe item, I think that loafers are my favorite kind of shoe. <laughs> well, it's a close toss up between loafers and boots, I think. But going back to loafers, I really think that loafers are the most classic kind of shoe, no matter what is trending out there at the moment. Regardless of when you wear a pair of loafers, you will always look good in my opinion. My most recent pair, which I'm holding up here, is from ATP Atelier. They sort of remind me of a smarter sort of Doc Martin with this chunky sole, but I really like them as a sort of trendier option of loafer. So I've got quite a few classic loafers in my wardrobe and I thought this would be a really kind of good addition to change it up a little bit, um, but still have that kind of loafer brogue situation. One way to wear brogues is to pair them with something slightly edgier or unexpected, such as ripped jeans and a leather coat. I love the contrast of these styles together. Or you can really lean into the more preppy aesthetic of the brogues and wear it with a striped collared knit. 
And that's what I love about classic items. You have the ability to do so much with them. Now on to blazers, and I actually have two to show you, starting with this tweed one. So I have a lot of sort of plain blazers, as you can see, I'm wearing my black blazer now. And I thought it would be really great this year to add in a tweed one for autumn winter. My style has definitely shifted a lot since I moved back to London, and I think that this blazer really highlights that. I don't think I would have bought this blazer if I was still living in Sydney. I love the sort of boxy cut to it because it has that sort of thick tweed material. It's very structured and that's kind of what I really like about it. Oh, and it also has an inside pocket, which I love. I love when blazers have useful pockets like this. <laughs> and it also comes with a matching sort of mini skirt. I didn't purchase it because I just wasn't sure how much I would wear the skirt, but I know I love blazers, so I know that I would get a lot of wear out of the blazer. It's such a quintessential British print, and I am definitely leaning into that this season. What's great about this blazer is that because of all the different speckles of color, you can pair it with a lot of different items in your wardrobe. Here, I've worn it with a white base and brown boots to match the cream and brown tones in the blazer. Wearing tweed really makes you feel very preppy. As you can tell with this look, I've fully embraced it. Here, I've worn it with a very crisp white shirt and loafers, but I've made it feel more like me and my style by pairing it with straight leg blue jeans. I've also changed a few of the add-ons here by adding in this gold hoop and this diamond ear climber. So the second blazer that I want to show you is this one. And if it looks exactly the same as the blazer that I'm currently wearing, that's because it is. So as you know, or you may not know, <laughs> I love the curated blazers. This one is from the curated. I have it in black and beige, and they recently came out with a navy, which I pre-ordered as soon as they announced it. I just love the cut, um, the fit, the quality. Most of all, I love the quality of the curated. It is 98% wool, and it is lined in silk. So it's so luxurious. You really don't find that a lot in blazers, even some high-end blazers, which I've tried, they're lined in polyester. So for it to be lined in silk and not be as extortionately priced as a high-end blazer is just incredible to me. So that is why I sort of jumped on it and I bought yet another curated blazer. On top of that, I am just loving navy at the moment. I don't know how I've neglected this color for so long in my wardrobe, but this autumn 2022 is the year of navy for me. It's useful to have simple looks that you can rely on. And for me, this is one of them. I'm a big fan of wearing something over and over again if it works for you and makes you feel like you a blazer, tank top, jeans and boots in every combination possible, please. I love the way navy and white look together. It seems so clean and crisp to me. I've added in a chunky navy cardigan over my shoulders and have played with proportions here by wearing it with small ballet flats. Another staple item for your wardrobe, a really, really great pair of jeans. So I tried these ones on in Arquette just completely on a whim. I wanted to try on a pair of shoes from there and I wasn't wearing the right trousers. So I just grabbed these jeans and I ended up absolutely loving them. <laughs> these are the straight cropped stretch jeans. And because of the stretch, they are so comfortable. They're also in this kind of washed black color, which I don't have in my wardrobe. I have a very sort of black, black pair. Um, but nothing in this kind of washed black gray sort of color and so i thought this would be a really really good addition into my wardrobe i like that they kind of dress down an outfit because they're not that kind of stark black but equally you can of course dress them up so the cropped length is actually a full length on me but i am not mad about it I really love the length of where they sit on my ankle. So for reference, I'm five foot two. And yeah, Arquette and, and other stories cropped jeans are normally 
full length jeans on me. But I really like that sort of slightly longer length, especially this time of year when you'll probably wear boots quite often. I think having that little bit more length just really elongates your legs um, and makes you look taller. Another great pair of jeans from Arquette at a really, really good price point. You've seen this blazer paired with white and now you can see how versatile it is as I'm wearing it with a black base. And what I really love about these jeans is the different textures you get depending on the light. I think it's more interesting than just wearing black, black jeans. This is one outfit I can't wait to wear lots of when it gets colder. This jumper is slightly cropped, so it sits perfectly in these jeans as they're really high-waisted. So I featured these trousers in my spring wardrobe video and I'm very excited to be able to kind of carry them through into autumn. And I think that's the beauty of the transitional kind of seasons and why I love dressing for them because you can really open up so much more of your wardrobe for these seasons. And you just can't go wrong with a pair of camel trousers. These are from Theory, so I'm not sure if they're available anymore. I will have a look and of course link similar items. And they are 100% wool, so they're a very thin, wool so they're very kind of fluid they move really nicely but they'll also kind of keep you warm which is really great and i just don't think you can go wrong with a pair of camel trousers and there are so many shades of camel out there this is a slightly i would say a darker shade so i think that works really well for autumn this would make a really great work outfit for me smart yet comfortable can you see what i mean when i say the trousers are really fluid in the way that they move Pleated trousers are a great hack of looking put together. Another comfy yet put together look, I have on this navy cashmere cardigan, which is the snuggliest thing ever and a great dupe for the very expensive Kate cardigan. And I love wearing smart trousers with Converse's. You have that element of tailoring while still being really comfy. A lot of the pieces that I featured in this video, I actually styled in my last autumn outfits video. So if you want more styling inspiration, you can watch that one here. Remember to check out Ideal for some very special diamond pieces and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.